So are you thinking about getting a Rhino Arc 2 slider, or perhaps an Edelchrone, or even a Syrup Genie 2? Well, they are a little pricey, aren't they? Perhaps you could get by with just a cheap motorized slider with a Ronin RS2 gimbal attached. Let's experiment. So here's my little setup. I have my Sony a7 III attached to my Ronin RS2 gimbal. And that particular gimbal has this unique tracking feature that allows you to add track points. So I'm adding a track point here. We've got movement duration and stay time. Setting this track point to three seconds. And you've got the coordinates. So you use the joystick on the gimbal to position the camera to where you want it to point to. And once you're happy with the position, you'll hit confirm. And now let's add a second track point. So the movement duration is how long it takes the gimbal to get from track point one to track point two. And the stay time is how long it will stay there once it gets there. And again, there's the coordinates position the camera and then hit confirm. So you can edit and delete these track points as you're creating the program anytime you want. So once you add all the track points and you're happy with the setup, then hit start and sit back and watch the action. Pretty smooth action. We're zooming or uh, filming some zombie heads here today. And one thing I will mention that you should put it in super smooth mode. Put the gimbal in the super smooth mode. It makes the recordings turn out a little bit better. This is the controller I use with my motorized slider. Put the link in the description for the one I use in this video. You can adjust the speed on it. And now just some examples inside and out of this setup and how smooth it can be. I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, I'm sure some of those more expensive systems like Edelkrone and Rhino are a little bit better, but they cost a lot more. So this one will be okay for me. It's good enough. <laughs>